guys. So today is going to be my monthly favorites. It's that time again. Um, I don't have too many things to show you today. I pretty much have just been using all of my favorites from last month, but there's a couple of new things, a lot of lip products. I've been really into lip products this month, um, like every month. I love lip products, but let me just go ahead and get started. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the lip products because there are quite a few. The first is this e.l.f. Jumbo Lip Gloss Stick, and this is what I'm wearing on my lips right now. This is the shade Flirty and Girly. It is really, really pretty. It's a bright fuchsia color. It's got glitter in it, which I have to admit, I generally don't like glitter in my lip products, but something about this color just screams to me. So it looks like this. Like I said, it's on my lips now, but I'll go ahead and swatch it for you too. It is just so bright and pretty. I love bright lips for the springtime right now. Um, it is spring, believe it or not. I know that for most of us, the weather is still really cold, at least it is for me. Um, today, it is actually about 45 degrees-ish, but it still feels really chilly. So um, this is actually the first day that the weather has been pretty nice, so I'm enjoying that. But now that I'm done with that tangent, yeah. Love this lip color. Another lip color I've really been loving. This is the Maybelline Color Whisper. This is in the shade Coral Ambition. I showed this in a haul. It's a beautiful coral shade. Great for spring. Going to be great for summer. Looks like this. Just a really, really pretty orangey pink color. Um, which is what coral is, right? Um, I think it's just going to be one of the lipsticks that I go to again and again and again for spring. Um, so... Yeah, love that one. Another color whisper that I've really been loving is Pin Up Peach, and I believe I talked about this last month as well. If not, I should have because I wore this a ton last month and again a ton this month. It's just a really, really great shade. Similar to Coral Ambition, but more pink, I would say. Um, just really pretty. Goes with everything. Love it. You guys can tell. Really into bright lips this month. Um, let's see, one final lip product to show you, and this is the, well it's another Maybelline, I'm really into Maybelline this month apparently, this is the Maybelline lipstick in Pink Freeze, it's just a beautiful pink shade, bubblegum pink, really really pretty, goes on really nicely, very moisturizing, this is this last one here, gorgeous, so yeah, those are the lip products I've been loving this month, um, a concealer I've been loving this month. This is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circles Treatment. This, I believe, is in the shade, yes, Fair. Um, this works really, really great for under eye circles. Um, really easy to blend. It's not super thick or heavy, so it doesn't cake up under here, which I like a lot. I just really enjoy this. Sorry if you can hear my dog's nails clicking on the uh, laminate floor. They are restless today. It's Like I said, it's nice outside, so they're constantly wanting to go out, so that's what you're hearing. Sorry about that. Anyways, really like this concealer this month. And let's see what else. Okay, face products or product. My Maybelline Dream Fresh BB Cream. Like I said, lots of Maybelline this month. Um, I like this a lot for some sheer coverage. I wear this on its own. I also wear this um, underneath foundation, so I really like it. It's a nice sheer tint. Um, gives a little bit of coverage, but it just re looks really nice on my skin, so that's why I'm including it this month. Love it. And I... Oh, I forgot to tell you guys the brush that I've been loving for my concealer this month. This is the Sigma Tapered Kabuki, the F86. It's just a tapered brush. I use this to apply my under eye concealer. Um, it blends it really nicely. Uh, fits really well in that area, and I just, it's the one I reach for constantly. It's one of my favorite brushes of all time, so love that. Uh, my favorite blush this month is the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush. This is in Doll Face. It's really, really pretty pink. I'm wearing it today, as you can probably see. It's very, very pigmented. Um, probably wasn't the best choice to go with this lip color because it is very bright, but um, I just kind of wanted to show you what it looks like on the skin, so if I look a little crazy, I apologize, but really love this blush. Very, very pigmented, gorgeous pink, um, 
lasts literally 12 hours. This is the longest lasting blush I've ever worn. Um, and I love the packaging too. Look at how cute. Very last favorite of the month is the eyeshadows I've been loving this month. And this is the Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette. It's their color icon eyeshadow collection. It's got four neutral shades and four shades of kind of greens, which I wore for St. Patrick's Day. You saw me use this if you watched my Get Ready With Me St. Patrick's Day video. Um, these are so amazingly pigmented. They're beautiful shades. They all go really well together. I just swatched a few different ones there. Um, you can see how pigmented those are. They're just awesome. Really, really smooth, blend really easily, soft. Um, I can't recommend the Wet n Wild eyeshadows enough. I think that they're amazing for the price. I paid like $5 for this. And um, it's just really awesome. So that was a favorite this month. So that's it. That's all my favorites. Like I said, pretty short video. Um, I apologize for all the noise in the background in this video. Um, just trying to kind of find time to film when I can so it's not ideal. The lighting's not perfect. But, you know, I'm going to roll with it. So I hope you all had an amazing March and have an even more amazing April. Happy spring, you guys, and I will talk to you later. Bye, everyone.